This is the CH-53K King Stallion, the most powerful helicopter ever created. Rescue crews rely on stable hover performance, allowing medics to extract survivors quickly in dangerous, uneven terrain. High altitude lift capacity allows the aircraft to deliver supplies where smaller helicopters struggle to reach. External lift capability enables the aircraft to transport armored vehicles across rough terrain where ground routes fail. What you're looking at can lift armored vehicles, shipping containers, even entire artillery systems straight off the ground. It comes from thousands of parts, millions of engineering hours, and a factory unlike any other in the world. From raw metal to airborne giant, this is the build process behind the world's most powerful helicopter. This is the Sikorsky Manufacturing Facility, the birthplace of the CH. 53K King Stallion. Every component, every panel, every rotor starts its life here. Before a single piece of metal is cut, the CH-53K exists entirely inside computers. They test rotor torque heat expansion, vibration harmonics, even how the blades flex at maximum lift. Only when the digital aircraft survives these tests can the real one begin to take shape. The CH-53K's seven-blade composite rotor is unlike anything on previous helicopters. Engineers push each blade to its limits digitally. Only after these simulations prove the rotor is stable, can the real-world manufacturing begin. Every bolt, every bolt, and every panel and every bracket of the CH-53K begins here, inside a complete 3 -sig. This digital blueprint ensures every system fits perfectly for you long before the first real fuselage is built. The CH-53K begins long before assembly. It starts here, with the arrival of Aero... Every sheet is scanned, weighed, measured, and logged. A flaw smaller than a grain of sand can compromise. Once approved, the materials are stored and labeled, waiting for their turn to become part of the King Stallion. Titanium is one of the first materials shaped for the CH-53-3K. Here, CE lay CM is... The laser doesn't just cut, yeah, it sculpts. Each contour, each curve, and each mounting point must match the digital. Once cut, each titanium part is inspected and sorted, ready for assembly into the aircraft's forward fuselage. Once the titanium panels are cut, robotic riveting begins. These automated systems install thousands of Every rivet is placed, measured, and verified immediately.
Only when alignment is perfect does the fuselage move on, ready for the next stage of building the King Stallion. The center fuselage is the strongest part of the CH-53K. It supports the landing gear, the cargo floor, These composite beams form the backbone of the helicopter. They resist bending, twisting, and impact forces, while staying far lighter than metal. The cargo floor, built on top of this structure, will later carry armored vehicles, supplies, and anything the King Stallion needs to lift. The cargo floor of the CH-53K is no ordinary platform. It's a massive composite panel. Inside the panel, reinforced honeycomb structures absorb vibration and impact. Titanium fa With the cargo floor secured and tested, the center fuselage is one step closer to becoming the backbone of the King Stallion. The tail boom of the CH-53K is more than just a long tube. It houses the drive shaft that transfers Inside the boom, technicians install wiring channels, reinforcement ribs, and precision mounts for the long tail With internal systems in place, the composite skin panels seal the structure, forming the long, aerodynamic tail of the King Stallion. The tail rotor housing carries enormous load. It must absorb the counter-torque generated by the main rotor. At the core of the housing are high-strength bearings and reinforced mounts, engineered to withstand constant... With the housing secured and alignment verified, the CH-53K is ready for the next step. Install... These are the GET408 engines. Three of them power the CH-53K King Stallion. Inside each engine, multi-stage compressors feed air into high-temperature turbines. Before installation, engineers verify every mount point because the power of these engines demands absolute structural precision. Each T408 engine weighs over a ton. Installing it required absolute precision, because even the smallest... When the engine meets the mounting bracket, lasers confirm perfect mating. High-strength lithium bolts lock it in place. With all three engines mounted, the CH-53K gains the heart of its power. A triple engine system un This is the main gearbox, the CH-53K's mechanical heart. Multiple gear stages reduce engine RPM. With cooling systems attached and diagnostics complete, the main gearbox is ready for installation, the next major milestone in building the King Stallion. Installing the main gearbox is one of the most critical operations. Its weight, complexity, and the forces it must in... As the gearbox lowers into place, lasers verify perfect alignment. Titanium bolts lock it to the airframe.
With the main gearbox fully secured, the CH53K can now transfer the combined power of all three engines. This is the CH53K's rotor hub, an engineering masterpiece. Inside the hub, pitch links and bearings work together to change blade angle, adjusting lift, controlling yaw. Vibration dampers inside the hub protect the aircraft from destructive resonance, making the CH53K stable even under extreme rotor loads. These are the CH53K's composite rotor blades, each one engineered from layers of carbon fiber and resin. Each blade has a precise aerodynamic twist, from root to tip, crafted for maximum lift and minimal vibration. These blades must flex without failing, absorb vibration without cracking, and deliver the smooth lift that defines the King Stallion. Mounting each rotor blade is a slow, deliberate process. These blades are enormous, so technicians must guide. At the blade root, titanium sleeves into the hub's blade grips with micrometer precision. With each blade added, the rotor takes shape, bringing the CH53K one step closer to the lift. The CH-53K's electronics are the brain of the aircraft. Here, technicians install wiring harness. The CH-53K uses advanced fly-by-wire controls. Signals from the pilot travel through fire. With avionics powered and tested, the aircraft gains its digital nervous system, ready for cockpit integration in the next stage. The CH-53K's cockpit is fully digital. Every system, from navigation to engine control, pilots interact with a fly-by-wire system, sending electronic signals to the aircraft's computers. With the cockpit fully online, the CH-53K is ready to connect its digital brain with the mechanical systems behind it. The CH-53K's fuel system uses armored lines and high-pressure pumps, built to deliver steady flow. The CH-53K's hydraulic lines power flight controls, landing gear, and cargo systems with precise high-pressure operation. Powerful hydraulic actuators move the helicopter's controls, each tested for flawless pressure response and leak-free performance. The CH-53K's power cables deliver massive electrical current, feeding avionics, sensors, and essential flight control systems. Power generators are linked to distribution modules, ensuring steady, reliable electricity throughout the entire aircraft. Main landing gear struts are mounted onto reinforced brackets, engineered to absorb enormous impacts during heavy landings. Hydraulic actuators power the retraction system, while brake lines are tested for pressure, sealing, and response. Lightweight composite skin panels are aligned with the airframe, forming the aerodynamic shell that protects internal systems. Seam seals and precision fasteners ensure airtight protection, shielding electronics and structure from moisture and harsh environments. All major systems are synchronized and checked together, confirming every component communicates flawlessly before final rollout. Final structural checks verify alignment, 
fastener integrity and sealing before the aircraft leaves the assembly line. Safety teams clear the path as the aircraft prepares to roll out for its first full system tests. Ripple engines spool up together, building smooth, steady power while crews monitor temperatures, fuel flow, and vibration. The seven-blade rotor engages smoothly, absorbing massive torque as rotation increases in a controlled, stable rise. At full rotor speed, systems stabilize and the aircraft receives clearance for taxi trials and first pre-flight checks. In forward deployment, the aircraft delivers heavy equipment and troops with precision even in harsh terrain and combat conditions. Night operations rely on advanced sensors and stable rotor control, letting the aircraft fly confidently in darkness. High altitude lift capacity allows the aircraft to deliver supplies where smaller helicopters struggle to reach. Rescue crews rely on stable hover performance, allowing medics to extract survivors quickly in dangerous, uneven terrain. External lift capability enables the aircraft to transport armored vehicles across rough terrain where ground routes fail. This is the CH-53K King Stallion, the most powerful helicopter 